so last year while playing the Xbox One version of Doom, I encountered this weird glitch where none of the textures for anything in the game world seemed to load, resulting in this pitch black but still shockingly playable version of the game. Enemies were reduced to barely visible silhouettes, siphon grenades took on this new use as a tool to illuminate enemies in the environment, and glory kills flooded the screen with that blue and orange light. It was really beautiful to behold, and at the time neither I nor anybody else really knew what caused this glitch. Now a lot of time has passed since I uploaded that video, and looking over the comments I realized that there are basically two camps of people out there. People who had not encountered this glitch but would love the chance to experience Doom in this unique way, and people who were suffering this glitch and desperately wanted a solution to return the game back to normal. The goal of this video is to help both of these people while also digging a little bit into what exactly caused this glitch in the first place, and one ambitious individual's quest to recreate this glitch in the form of a mod for the PC version. First, let's start with the people who want to fix their Xbox One copy of Doom 2016. This, as it turns out, is pretty easy. And take note, Xbox users, because if you want to cause this glitch for yourself, this is how you recreate it. See, it turns out the cause of this glitch is a very specific set of circumstances. It only happens while attempting to play Doom while the game is still downloading. Basically, if an Xbox player of Doom boots the game up before the install is complete, but after the ready to start pop-up appears, you end up booting into the game without everything downloaded, which somehow produces that weird pitch black look. So that's how you cause it, but what about for those who are trying to fix this glitch? You might think that the solution is to just let the game finish installing and go back to playing, but for a lot of people with this issue, that solution doesn't work. See, despite completing the install and turning their console off and on, for most players, the game ends up still being quote unquote stuck in this black textureless mode. Now, the reason this happens is that unless you go out of your way to do it, games on the Xbox very rarely close all the way, and instead are more often put into a sleep state. Luckily, there's an easy fix for that. All you really need to do is press the Xbox Guide button, scroll down to Doom, press Start, and then scroll down and press Quit. Next time you boot the game up, boom, back to normal. Now let's say you're not an Xbox player. What about that hypothetical PC mod I mentioned? It's funny, my original video about this has received over 1,000 comments demanding specifically that somebody should make a mod for this. People spoke about it like it was an inevitability. It seemed like this mod idea was basically a no-brainer. Unfortunately, Doom 2016 is a notoriously tricky game to mod. On top of that, Doom 2016 also shipped without any official mod tools whatsoever. So despite people pleading and pleading and pleading for this mod to exist across YouTube, Reddit, and everywhere in between, it seemed like it was just never gonna happen. But, as is so often the case, right when things seemed darkest, this happened. A few months back, a Doom fan who goes by the name Swip Swap Saponi, aka Sappy, released a mod called Black Doom 2016. Basically, a Doom mod inspired by the exact glitch I'd experienced that purported to perfectly recreate that glitch in the PC version of Doom. Now, I was a little skeptical at first, but I figured this was worth trying, so I reinstalled the PC version of Doom and followed the instructions to install it. Of course, since there's no formal mod support for Doom 2016, you have to jump through a few steps to get this up and running, but soon enough, I had it installed, and after a lot of anticipation, I booted up the game. And... It worked! Not only did it work, it actually looked exactly the same as what I had experienced on Xbox One last year. But this time it was running on PC at an uncapped resolution and with an unlocked frame rate, now accessible anytime I wanted without having to fiddle with half downloading the game on Xbox and intentionally pausing the download. Now this was exciting because I had gone in just a few short months from not knowing how this glitch happened and losing it forever to having it on demand now, but I still had a huge question. How did this mod exist? Wasn't modding Doom 2016 supposed to be nearly impossible? And most importantly of all, how was this person able to replicate this Xbox One glitch so perfectly on a completely different platform? Whoever created this mod apparently knew enough about Doom 2016's internal workings that they were able to intentionally replicate a bug like this, meaning they might be able to tell me what specifically causes that weird visual effect you see in the first place. Maximum multiplier. So I reached out to Sappy, the modder behind Black Doom 2016, who told me that he made his mod after seeing my original video. Sappy also owns and operates the Doom 2016 Plus modding Discord server, and he told me that he also came to the decision to make this mod after getting multiple requests from people who had joined the server asking whether or not this mod could theoretically exist. Now, according to Sappy, the question of Doom 2016's modability is not actually quite so simple. 
Quote, Doom 2016 is actually very moddable, but we don't really have tools to modify anything other than raw text. Luckily, almost all behavioral data and information in Doom 2016 is stored in raw text files. However, the game still requires a lot of technical know-how in order to understand what to modify to get the results that you want. And even if you have that technical know-how, it's really tedious and confusing to do much more than just swap a few numbers around, which is why there aren't many mods. Now, lucky for all of us, Sappy is one of the few people on Earth who has that technical know-how. And incredibly, he was able to manipulate the raw text in Doom to replicate my bug perfectly. So I asked about that. What exactly was it that was causing this visually striking bug in the first place? It turns out the answer has a lot to do with a specific quirk of id Tech, the game engine used by Doom's developer id Software. id Tech 6, the version of the engine that Doom is running, uses a proprietary technology first introduced by id back in 2007 called Mega Texture. While most video games texture their in-game objects individually, one at a time, Mega Textures allows developers to texture the entire game world using one truly enormous image. Mega textures can be upwards of 32,000 by 32,000 pixels or larger, and a single mega texture will take up at least three gigabytes just by itself. Now, the benefit to mega textures is that a game world generated using them can be entirely unique without a single pixel of repeated terrain anywhere in a level. The downside, it seems, at least in this very specific case, is that if a mega texture file is in any way incomplete, the effect on the game can be severe. Here's Sappy again. Quote, your video has you playing Doom 2016 on your Xbox One before the mega textures were downloaded, resulting in the game reading them as nothingness or just constant streams of zero, which to the game engine means black or transparent. My black Doom 2016 mod replicates it by making the mega texture reading code in the shaders also return zero. And the result, the game you see before you now. Now I know what you're thinking. What about making a similar mod for Doom Eternal? Unfortunately, there's a major hiccup here. See, for Doom Eternal, it switched up their graphics API from OpenGL to Vulkan, and none of Zippy's Doom hacks work with Vulkan. And believe me, he's tried. Sappy told me that while he's tried to modify the rock text that controls Doom Eternal's Vulkan shaders, he has had no luck in getting it to work despite multiple attempts. Now, obviously that's a bummer, but there is a small ray of hope. See, way back at QuakeCon when Doom Eternal was first announced, director Marty Tratton said that mod support for Doom Eternal was something that he really wanted to see happen eventually. Marty revealed that his team has, quote, spent the last several years making technical decisions that get them back towards being able to do mods. Now, in the same breath, Marty was also very careful to clarify that he would not make any promises that Doom Eternal would see official mod support now or ever. But the fact that it's on id's radar and that it's something they've made concrete steps towards implementing is a really exciting idea. Sappy tells me that were they to eventually do this, even if it's months or years down the line, creating another mod like Black Doom 2016 in the Eternal engine would probably be quite easy. So when it comes to this happening someday, the ball is firmly in its court. That means that if mod support for Doom Eternal is something you'd like to see happen down the road, the best thing you can do is let id know that you want it. Remember, the original Doom back in 1993 went on to be one of the most widely modded video games of all time. So if this were to happen, it would not just enable things like Sappy's textureless mod, it would enable all sorts of cool stuff, stuff we can't even imagine yet. So if this is something you want, I think the answer is to do your part and let it know. Looking back on this whole experience, I think what I appreciate most about it is that when I uploaded my original video, I truly thought that my experience was a singular one, a one-off glitch with no clear way of duplicating it and something that I would never get to experience ever again. But thanks to the people who watched that video and the comments on that video, not only were we able to pin down a way to recreate the original glitch, but a talented modder took the time out of his day to create a perfect recreation of it on PC for anybody who wants to try it for themselves. Personally, I think that's really cool. Thanks for watching, and P.S. if you own Doom 2016 on PC and are interested in checking out Sappy's mod, I threw together a super quick video tutorial about how the process works. Here's a link to that tutorial if you're interested, it's super easy and should only take you like two minutes maximum. Thanks for watching and have a good week!